My name is Jorge Lopez, and I'm Southern Regional Commander for the Texas Brown Race, and also Texas is also a member of the National Brown Organization. And this is our parche, carnalismo. This means brotherhood, unity, unity of la gente, all right? Brown Bridge started here in, in San Antonio in 1968. Brown Bridge came from California, arrived here in the valley in 1971. But we didn't know that San Antonio already had a chapter. In 1972, La Causa Brown Bridge disbanded because of, also because of power struggles, inner uh, personality conflicts. They didn't have no spiritual principles or revolutionary principles. That was, it, was, it was destined to, to fail. But the importance of, of the movement, of the Brown Bray movement, that it became a social phenomenon, phenomenon, okay? It spread throughout the Southwest like wildfire. <coughs> it spread to, the, we had 20,000 chapters, all right? And our supporters number in the millions, okay? Because of, of what we've done. But not, I mean, <clears throat> a lot of us, a lot of the people love us, and then some, of them, some of them hate us. Because they, they try to identify us with hate groups. With Nazis, <coughs> with skinheads, or Minutemen. No. We're a Chicano Civil Rights Movement organization. We are the Chicano Civil Rights Movement. Okay? We started alongside with Cesar Chavez in 1966. And we've always been faithful soldiers de la causa de la Unión de Campesinos, the farm worker struggles. We have always been security for all the, for all the mass protests that, that were occurring in, in California when they were trying to unionize uh, farm workers. And when we came to Texas, because I'm a, I'm a member of a, of a migrant family, okay? We used to go to California when I was a student, in high, a high school student. Me and my brothers and my mother and my stepfather, we would go on the migrant trail. On the migrant trail every year, every summer. We would go work, come back, buy clothes, you know, buy a car maybe, and then go to school. And, you know, it was, it was real tired. I mean, that was a... You know, go to California, go to the beach, you know, but we didn't go to the beach, we went to the tomato fields, the onion fields, the garlic fields, the, the peach fields, the apricot fields, that's, that's what we did. We, we, we labored, it was stoop labor, that's when they still had the cortito, the little hole with them, you can see, you can you know, stand up. Okay, we, I, we, I went through all of that, okay? In 1968, in 1968, I was involved with Mayo, Mexican-American Youth Organization. That's when, that's when I first started uh, introduced into the Chicano movement, Mayo, here in Texas, 1968. But the movimiento had already began in California. But there's the movement behind, be, be, it's got, goes back more, more and more. But uh, the way Chicano, civil rights movement begins like in 1966, where they use the word Chicano, okay? Chicano is a, is a, is a, a Mexicano from Mexican origin. Maintenance is a mestizo. It's a mix between the indigenous and, and uh, the Spanish conquistadores. Okay, now it's uh, European and, and, and indigenous people because now, you know, and afro america because now we got black blood. Now we got Asian blood. Okay, okay so the Chicano, that's what it means. Indigenous with a little European flavor, some African flavor, and, and some Asian flavor. Some Asian flavor. And, and we're, we're part of the American culture. We see me like rock and roll. We do, we do the twist. We love jazz. We love the country. We love the more country. Okay, that's that's what differentiates Chicano from from people from Mexico and Mexican American. Mexican Americans. Okay, as you know, the census this year brought us all together. We're not Hispanics anymore, or uh, Spanish uh, Spanish speaking non whites and all those labels that we that we enjoyed in the past. Now, finally, they recognize that we're Mexicanos, Chicanos, Mexican American. They put it all together. How about that? Uh, LULAC, which is the first civil rights organization, began in 1929. And they take it, they want to take all the credit. It's like the parade. Yeah. It's like the parade. Yeah. Yeah. In Los Angeles, they want they want they want to hey, now get weak. Yeah. You think you were you're the only one that were suffering over there? Don't you know the Texas history? We, 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 we've been to war with these suckers two times. And we lost the land. And we lost the land. Where were, where were you when the Battle of Alamo? Where were you when we went to Goliath? Where were you when we went to San Jacinto and battled the Texas forces 
I know Sam used to, where were you? And you dared to come and tell us what to do? Brother, we are the heart of America. Texas is right in the center, brother. Huh? And, and the spirit of Texas is the valley, because the valley is por aquí, and everything starts in the valley. All right? Okay, I was a student here at Pan American or, este, uh, University. At yeah, that time, it was just Pan American University. Pan American means Pan America, across the Americas. The center of the, of the North and South continent is right here. Did you know that? I heard about it. And that's on what she mentioned how they were like in the 60s. Okay, and uh, I was a member, I became a member of El Sol, which was a student organization at that time. I was editor, I was president, I, and I did newspaper, and he told me I was a professor, he said, okay, give me some money because we're going to publish. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I just met this lady, Miss Perez, you know, and, and I told her, I told her, yeah, we're going to make a newspaper and we're going to hit you for some money. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because they need the faculty needs to support you guys. They already are, they already got the jobs. They already educated, and they believe in Chicano history. In Chicanismo, okay, pues. Come you're the profile. Much of them. They have. Okay. Well, they have. Okay. Well, 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 okay. I do a lot of other things, but you know, I, I'm only have one person, I only have so much time. So I need to mobilize people. I need to get people involved, people like you. I need it, I, what we need is to start a chapter of Brown Brains here at Pan America. I need somebody to, to, to step up and say, Sasuke, you want to say Brown Brains aquí, aquí en el UTPA? Y este, I'm going to organize the, the students, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put pressure on the Board of Regents, or, or Dr. Nelson, el Presidente, and, and we're going to keep our program, no matter what. We're going to protest, we're going to march, we're going to sit in, we're going to take over the administration building, but then those kind of tactics, okay? Of course, it's going to be legal, then. it? Sometimes maybe uh, we're, we're going to bend the law a little more. We're, we're, but we're right there with that. We're, <laughs> we're going to try not to break them, but we are going to bend them as far as possible. Tie ourselves on the tree. No, what do you think? Go what? for it. I mean, yeah, we can't can be passive. Sure. It's non-violent passive resistance? No, sir. It's non-violent active resistance. Okay? We are non-violent. We don't, we, don't we don't believe in violence. Why do we want to create more violence? We don't believe in racism. Why do we want to create more racism? No. We want social justice. We want social change. That's what we stand for. Okay? And the first order of, the first order of business is to make leaflets. For we are going to uh, inform the people of the coming Cesar Chavez March of the coming march for, uh, from you guys and the coming uh, meeting for the for a third party party, we're gonna put pressure on this board of region because they get voted in. Okay? That's the only we're gonna register people in Dallas County. We're gonna just concentrate in Dallas County, not the whole state of Texas. Texas is a whole nation by itself. It was a nation, but it was a gringo nation with Vendil, and then and then they're proud of we were a republic, six flags over Texas. Okay? What channel this bullshit, then well, we got, I got another story for them. We got seventh flag over Texas, a new state, South Texas, okay? How about them chickens? Right? <laughs> and, and it's legal. It's legal. It's, legal. it's in the, it's article in the Constitution, okay? It's legal. But what do they want to do? They, they want to they change. They want to control everything at all. See, more they can't come at all. They want to change the 14th Amendment. They want to take away our birthright. Why? Because we're outnumbering them. We're 38% of the population in Texas right now, okay? Ten years from now, we're the, we're, in South Texas, we will be the majority no matter what. Okay? There's seven counties that decide who runs, for, who wins the governorship. So we gotta prepare. We gotta, we gotta start working. It's, we gotta have faith in ourselves. We gotta have faith in God to, to help us. I mean, for those, for those of you that believe in God, if the 